What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. If you have not or you have, I put out two videos. One was called Five Things I Love About the Galaxy Tab S6 and then I put out another one, Five Things That I Dislike About the Galaxy Tab S6. I'll link them both down below. In the dislike one, one of the major things that I disliked about this tablet was battery life slash standby time and I've changed something over the last few days and it seems to be working, at least for the most part. And what I've done is I have fully turned on, gone into power mode, and I have turned on medium power saving and I have everything turned on in there. And that includes uh, one of the major things it does is it restricts background data, preventing background apps from using Wi-Fi and mobile data. Also, it limits the CPU speed to, you can see, it limits the maximum CPU speed to 70%. Now, I'll talk more about the 70% thing and why I think it's kind of lame, but let's go in with the rest of the stuff. It also reduces the brightness by 10%. Now, let's talk about limiting the CPU speed to 70%. Doing this and having all of this turned on within medium power saving mode has actually increased fairly, fairly well. Now I have just, just today as an example, it's been on for over one day on battery. So, you know, over 24 hours at this point, I've had two hours and 30 minutes of screen on time and I'm at 29% battery life, which to me is awesome because previously on my five things I dislike, I had didn't have any screen time and it was at 61% battery life. And when I look at battery usage, it doesn't look, there's nothing that you know generally stands out all that much. Android OS is at 8%, Android system 7%, device idle, which is one day, 5%, Google Play services 1%. So there's nothing's like killing, killing my battery life. So at that point, it looks like limiting the battery, the, the, the CPU speed to 70% has done freaking wonders which I think is actually pretty lame. And I think that's lame because this is like a $700 tablet because this is the one with 256 gigabytes of storage, 800, 855 Snapdragon processor and eight gigabytes of RAM. And I have it sped down or whatever you want to call it, reduced speed to basically like something like probably the same as a Galaxy Tab S5e. So, it's lame and I don't think you should do this to this tablet. I mean, I don't have any slowdowns in terms of like, you know, just jumping around the tablet and using it and just like day-to-day -day usage. There's, honestly, there's, there's no lag or anything, which is awesome to me. So I don't, that part doesn't bother me, which I thought there would be some kind of lag, but there's not. But the fact that I have to reduce the, the power of this just to get okay battery life, that's not cool to me. So. I don't know, it, it's tough to totally recommend this tablet. I, I was looking through some of the comments of you know the things that I disliked about this tablet and some of you were like, oh, it's uh, I love this tablet, it's awesome. Uh, I get amazing battery life. So I know there's gonna be people out there that, that generally do get better, good battery life. I'm personally not, I know others are not getting good battery life with this as well. Maybe it's an update that needs to happen, but thus far I would tell you to probably hold back on buying this tablet if you are thinking about it or keep in mind that you know what, you might wanna return this if you're getting bad battery life like me because it's a great tablet overall in terms of what it does on the basics, you know, in terms of, you know, it's fast, it's fluid, the screen's beautiful, uh, the uh, sound is awesome. Uh, it's just an awesome tablet. But having to charge this every single night basically or every day and a half to be, a, especially when I'm not even barely using it, that's a no-go for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.